let's look at exporting the assets. In order to transfer the scene to Unreal, we can use two different methods. The first one is using the Datasmith plugin for Unreal. The second method would be to export a V-Ray scene. For this project, I'll demonstrate both methods to export my scene. I've already unwrapped most of the objects in my scene, but there are a few objects that don't have lightmap UVs. For them, I will use the Datasmith export, since the exporter will automatically unwrap them and it will preserve the hierarchy of my objects while keeping my objects in groups. I can also use the Datasmith exporter to export multiple cameras to use in Unreal. For this demo, I don't need that, since I'll create most of my cameras inside Unreal later on. It's time to export my Datasmith assets, so I'll go to the Selection tab in Free Studio Max and select my Datasmith selection. Then I'll go to File, Export, Export Selected and press Save. I'll leave all the settings by their defaults and then press OK. OK, next I'll select some V-Ray proxy objects. As you can see, I have three trees that are V-Ray proxy meshes. If I export them with Datasmith, they will be converted to geometry and Datasmith will try to unwrap them. However, those trees in my scene contain 2 million polygons each. Since the trees are placed outside, we don't need lightmap UVs for them. All I want from them is to cast shadows on my interior. I'd like to share an important tip. If I export V-Ray proxy meshes with the V-Ray scene, V-Ray will read them that they are V-Ray proxies and it will not generate lightmaps for them. In my scenario, this is exactly what I want. Now, before I export the interior as a V-Ray scene, let's make sure that I have only visible the things that I want. Let's go to the Selection tab again, select the Datasmith selection and hide it. Also, keep in mind that if you have V-Ray lights that are turned off in the scene, V-Ray will ignore them and not include them into the V-Ray scene. Additionally, it's a good idea when exporting a V-Ray scene to look through the main camera in the viewport. OK, let's export the V-Ray scene. Right-click, go to V-Ray Scene Exporter, select a location, give it a name, and then press Save. And then Export. 